Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing really well. So Mercury finally is going direct, but the energies have been very, very intense and they will continue to be a little intense for a little while longer. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what is going to come through in today's reading, which is for divine soulmates, could be twin flame connections. Um, we'll be looking at the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's. And because it's general, it's definitely not going to be everybody's situation, so do keep that in mind. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I think that's all I have to say before we get started, so let's get into it. Let's see, what is going on with the masculines currently? Alright, and we have peace, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Okay, so this is actually a very positive card to get to start off the reading for the masculines. I don't feel like they're actually there just yet, but they are on a trajectory that is moving them towards this piece. So these are the masculines who have been having a lot of disturbing thoughts or a lot of distorted thoughts, um, possibly over analyzing things, um, just constantly focusing on the negatives of the situation or of whatever might be going on. So this is something that they are now working on and moving towards having a more peaceful state of mind and not focusing so much on the negatives. All right, so <clears throat> let's get a couple more actually. Let's see which deck, let's use this one. So let's see what else. <clears throat> All right, family, we just had this recently. I feel like I keep tapping into um, masculines where they have, they have a lot of family issues. So it could even be that this is just where the problem, um, whatever challenges they have, where it is rooted, okay? So this could be referring to their childhood, okay? The family that they grew up in, which may have influenced them in um, various ways. And for others, it could be that they actually have a family, right? Um, could be with another partner at the moment, or it could just be family members that are influencing them. So whatever these thoughts have been about, it's regarding family or the way that they grew up. It's something that their family has influenced in them. And especially when it comes to, because we also have devotion and balancing the scales, um, especially when it comes to where is it that they, that they are devoted to? Where is it that they are committed to? Like, who do they want to be committed to? To um, specific family members or relatives that may have influenced them in a negative way who have instilled these um, thoughts that have been affecting them negatively? You know, is that where their truth really lies? And that's why we have balancing the scales here, right? This is like the justice card. So this is a lot of karma that is actually playing out and coming into balance right now, especially in regards to family. And again, it, it doesn't mean that it's a family like in marriage, okay? It could be just about anything. It could just be a relative. Um, so yeah, let's get into the tarot. Get a little more specific here. So let's see what is going on <clears throat> with the masculine just in general. All right, we have the Six of Cups in reverse, the World in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, so this is just their general energy, okay? Not, not towards their feminine. They're, and I feel like it's related to these initial oracle cards that we have here. So there's something here that they've been living or experiencing right from the past. Right, it's showing up again with that Six of Cups, as I said. For a lot of them, it's the way that they grew up. For others, it could even be both. It could be that you know, the family environment that they find themselves in now is because of the way that they grew up and that conditioning. So that is something that is not appealing to them anymore. It's, it's like with the Six of Cups being in reverse, it's like whatever this past influence is, it's kind of being brushed off or being dissolved along with those um, unwanted or um, distorted thoughts. 
Now there is still there's still a way to go here. Like there's still a little bit um, left that needs to happen. I feel like with the balancing the scales in the world being in reverse, as I said, it's playing out. The karma is still playing out, but that cycle is beginning to close out. I feel like it, it's happening at a quicker pace here because with the Seven of Swords in reverse, the masculine is not wanting to be um, deceitful anymore to their own self. Right, they, they're not wanting to betray their own truth for you know whatever this this family issue is or the family um, influence. So let's see more specifically towards their feminine. Alright, and we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Cups in reverse. Notice they're all in reverse. Yeah, so a lot of their energy right now, I feel like it's, um, they're, like I said, they're not feeling very peaceful, right? They're just on that trajectory moving towards peace. But the way to get to peace is by first having to confront everything that is not bringing you peace, right? What is it that is actually causing the opposite? So all of that is coming to the forefront. And it again, it has a lot to do with where is it that they are devoted to. Um, so with, with the cards that we got here, the masculine is having a hard time feeling detached from the feminine. Um, but it's not just that, they're also having Issues with their self-worth, feeling less than the feminine at the moment currently, also not being able to recover from, from a heartbreak. I actually feel like with the Three of Swords being in reverse, I feel like there has, something has happened recently um, for a lot of you where it caused a lot of pain. So maybe there was a separation recently so maybe um because i've been hearing this a lot of a lot of divine counterparts having come into contact recently only to go back into a separation soon after so i feel like this is what this is about and it's saying that the masculine has not has not healed it's not if this has happened to you it's not that the masculine is now, you know, over you or anything like that. They're still dealing with that pain. And not only that, they're realizing that they cannot be separate from you. And realizing that, you know, this pain, it's always going to be there. And they're always going to feel this discontent. Like something is missing when they're not with their feminine. Uh, let's actually clarify a couple of these. Let's see, let's see that top row. Alright, we have the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, so in regards to their childhood or the way they grew up or to a situation from the past that they no longer want, it's like they're, it's like it just doesn't resonate with them anymore. It's like they're vibrating at a very different frequency than um, from whatever that is from their past. And it doesn't even have to be the far away past, okay? Distant past. For some of them, it could be something, um, you know, very recent. They feel like there's this imbalance <clears throat> between their own truth and what has been given to them from the past, from another situation. Uh, let's see, we also have the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot in Reverse. They're feeling very lonely overall. And whatever it is that, whatever this karma is that's closing out at the moment, that is in that, moving in that direction, it is creating a sense of loss for them. <clears throat> yeah.
is creating a sense of loss and it, you know what this is it's all about they're feeling like being being true to their hearts or finding out their own truth is extremely uncomfortable for them at the moment and again, that's what they're in the process of doing right now. And it's very, very uncomfortable. And that's why we have the chariot in reverse here with the seven of swords in reverse, because it's making them feel like they don't know where they're going. They don't know what they're moving towards. They don't know where this is going to take them because this is something so new. It's like they have been feeling all along, um, not feeling, it's like they've been acting all along in the way that they were taught. And now that they're not vibrating at that frequency, it's very uncomfortable to change directions, to all of a sudden, you know, know what their truth is or uncovering these truths. And realizing that they just can't stand to live something that is not authentic to them. It feels very new. All right, let's see this bottom now. So we have Temperance in the Reverse, the Knight of Swords, we get one more for that Four of Cups, and the Six of Wands in Reverse. <clears throat> so the fact that they're feeling um, like they just cannot detach from you or that they cannot just forget about you, that's throwing them off balance. It's like, which it actually is something that is needed. Because I feel like, you know, they were holding on to their safety net, their comfort zone, right? Just able to kind of block out um, the feminine when it was convenient to block out the feminine. But it's like now their inner peace, again, as I said before, it's being disrupted. And that's something that needs to happen. That needs to happen because they were just staying in this, like, middle, like middle place <laughs> just keeping their balance like yeah i can do this i can do this <clears throat> i don't need the feminine um you know i can just go about my life and it's like no no that piece is being unsettled right now because they cannot detach and it's actually making them very very restless here all right with the knight of swords like they're getting the opposite result of what of what they had once wanted they're feeling this sadness this depression um, some of them might even be feeling ignored just overall in some way or just um, very apathetic like they just nothing interests them Nothing outside of them interests, outside of the feminine right now, interests them. And this is a hard truth for a lot of them to face. That they have been unsuccessful when it came to trying to detach or to um, get over the feminine. Alright, let's take a quick look at the feminine's energy and then we'll see what is... What is coming up in the next week or so? So for the feminines. All right, we have night wind, facing fear, subconscious release and healing. Yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of the feminines have gone through a very difficult time recently, but, but you're facing your fears. It's like a lot of your fears have been brought to the surface. And how does that happen? Because something plays out. Something plays out. It's like something that you may have been fearing or that you had been fearing in the past. It's like it plays out. Like it actually happens. So then you're forced to face it. So I feel like something like this has happened. But this is what is um, creating that subconscious release to release the fear. Once you have to face it and it actually plays out, that's when you can release it and and then heal. So that's what's been going on with um, a lot of the feminines here. And if you feel like you're in the middle of this, again, you know, just trust. Trust that 
there's a reason for this, all right? It's, it's to help you no matter how <clears throat> counterintuitive that might, that might seem. All right, and we have, yeah, see, here we go, fear. Fear, recognition, and barrier. So the feminine is really um, either facing fears or you might feel like you have conquered some fears or that you are in the process of conquering these fears, right? That's why we have recognition. It's like you're actually recognizing a fear that you've had. And for a lot of you, this fear may have even been subconscious and you may have only realized it recently or this might be something that is coming up for you, all right? And it's this fear that has been serving as a barrier. And so this is actually, it might be a little bit difficult, um, it's a little dark, <laughs> but this is all so that you can recognize these fears and how they have been serving as barriers for you, for your own growth. And then of course also indirectly affecting the, uh, the connection, the connection with the masculine. All right, so let's get just <clears throat> just three tarot cards for the feminines. Just any other message that wants to come through. Ooh, okay, that is way too many, so I'm just going to take, yeah, one that flipped over here. All right. <clears throat> They're all in reverse here too, so. <laughs> Yeah, masculine and feminine are mirroring each other in this in this sense. So it is the seven of wands in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse, and the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so actually, I'm seeing this as being positive, but at the same time, it also being difficult. So it's positive, but in a difficult way. I feel like the, the feminine um, is releasing resistance. Okay, so if you were guarding yourself, trying to protect yourself, and, you know, um, having certain thoughts or um, having certain activities, maybe, engaging in certain activities that were self-defense mechanisms or trying to convince yourself of something, whatever that could be concerning the masculine, it's like you're dropping your guard. It's like you're more vulnerable, but, but in a stronger way. So it's not being vulnerable in the negative sense of the word. It's being vulnerable, but being okay with that. And I feel like this, this whole situation, what's happening here is that it's getting easier and easier for you to cope with it and to manage whatever the situation is for you, whatever it is that you may have been going through. And that's, again, it's because you are allowing yourself to uncover your fears. Or the universe is just doing that for you. <laughs> just throwing things at you so that you can actually confront these things. And I feel like it's working. It's working. So, yes, it's hard, but it is getting easier for you. Okay, so let's see what might be coming up in the next week or so for the masculines. All right, the five of wands, the ace of swords in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of conflict. And I do feel like this is involving other people um, in their lives because there's going to be conflict because, like I said, it's not, <clears throat> it's not matching their frequency. It's not true to their own self. It, anything that is not authentic, it's going to create tension. It's going to create arguments. It's going to create disruptions. Irritability. Um you know, all of those things, anything that is not in alignment with who they truly are. So I do see this as playing out, um, you know, with whoever it is that they need to close out cycles with, karmic cycles, whether that be family, a partner, um, a, rel a relative, work, whatever. There's going to be a lot of tension in that area because it's just not resonating with their truth and who they truly are. And they just 
don't want to live a lie anymore. Um, and because of that, you know, they feel like they just cannot follow, follow that path. Everything is just going to feel very unstable for them in that sense. <clears throat> so let's just get a couple more to see more specifically for their feminines. Their energy towards their feminines, please, coming up. What are they moving towards? All right, we have the Empress, the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. All right, so if there has been a separation recently, they're going to be feeling um, the depths of that. I feel like it's going to be like a peak, like a climax. Um, with the Empress, definitely seeing you as their divine counterpart. Seeing you as that ultimate partner or person that they belong with. But they're going to feel like, <clears throat> you know what, like the pain is just, it's climaxing. They're feeling like this is done or that it might be done or that this separation is just very, very intense. It's creating a lot of intense emotions for them. Um... I do feel, I do see it getting easier for them to cope with whatever it is that they need to cope with because ultimately they know that you are their divine counterpart. All right, that's showing up very, very clearly here. And it's interesting that they have <clears throat> the nine of wands in reverse, just like you have the nine of wands in reverse as well. So I do feel like, you know, whatever this is, whatever they're going through, whatever fears they have or whatever sense of doom, because I also see this as this being a sense of this connection is doomed, all of that getting easier, releasing resistance towards this. And it's because of that ending. <clears throat> all right, so if you've recently come into a separation or if you've been in separation, that's the, the purpose that this is serving. So... Yeah, I don't see, <clears throat> I don't particularly see um, a lot of communication coming up just yet, but do keep in mind that this is, number one, it is general, it's a general reading, and number two, it's just for, you know, the immediate future, <clears throat> but definitely very intense energies. All right, so let's get a couple of final oracle messages. All right, and we have fork in the road. Yeah, they're definitely at this point where it's like choosing. Do I choose truth or do I choose the conditioning and, you know, um, the way I've lived my life all along? And so number 13, <clears throat> in case that means anything to anyone. So, yeah, this is like a very critical point in time for the masculines at the moment. Questioning everything. Let's get one more. All right, and we have, have faith in your dreams. It's the waxing croissant moon. That faith is there. They have not given up. They have not given up. And also, take you can take this as a message for you. Um, if this resonates for you, okay? Spirit is saying to have faith <clears throat> in your dreams, whatever that might be for you. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you all so much for watching. I will be posting the um, Divine Soulmate and karmic situation video sometime midweek, hopefully, um, in the next week. And yeah, <clears throat> I will try to get an extra video out as well. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and much love.